Hey there, it's Chris from Good Roads, and ever since I started experimenting with 3D printed skateboard molds, you all have been asking me for the files for a version so that you can get out there and make your own. Well, here it is. And as of today, it's available for free and it is open source. So let me show you how it goes together and what you can do with it. The mold is made up of six prints that easily fit on the bed of the larger format printers like the CR10 or Artillery Sidewinder. For smaller printers, you'll probably have to subdivide the mold sections. I print my molds at a 0.3mm layer height, a 1mm line width using a 0.8mm nozzle, one wall, and to save plastic, I don't use any top or bottom layers and use progressive infill to go from 10% at the bottom up to 20% near the surface. I'm still experimenting with whether or not the open grid is enough surface area to press a deck properly, but surprisingly, even this sparse amount of infill is strong enough to stand up to the pressures involved in making a deck, at least with the presses that I'm using. The sections of the top and the bottom of the molds need to be joined together, and my favorite way of doing that is by attaching them to a wooden base. In the past, I've used CA glue successfully, but this time around I'm trying a two-part of epoxy, which ends up working out just fine. Once the mold sections were in place, I just used some heavy stuff to weigh them down while the epoxy cured. I also find it really useful to add some registration to my molds to make sure that everything stays aligned. Eventually, I'd like to incorporate this into the prints themselves, but for the time being, I've been doing it with wooden blocks and metal pins. So, that's our mold done. Let's say we press a board. I'm using a set of maple skateboard veneers from RawRocket.com and rolling glue onto both sides of all the interior plies. Once that's done, I tip up these pieces of tape on my stack and move it over to the press where the lower half of the mold is waiting. This is a DIY spar style press that I showed how to make in the last video. It's a simple, inexpensive build and it delivers a surprising amount of force. All you have to do is lower the top of the mold in place, drop the spars, and clamp it down. These are just some 3D printed knobs with captive nuts that fit the bolts on the threads. They save me from having to use a wrench, which is slower. Once the press is clamped down as tight as you can get it, leave the deck to cure for a day or two, then unclamp the press. At this point, you can drill your bolt holes using the built-in guides in the printed mold. Then crack it open. I mean, the blank looks fantastic. That is the deepest concave I've ever pressed. some super deep concave. Bird's eye looks fantastic. Dude, that's gonna be such a nice day. The next step is to shape the deck, and I'm not doing anything fancy here, just copying an old street board that I had lying around. I'm cutting mine out with a bandsaw, but a jigsaw also works great. 
I've even shaped some decks with a handsaw before. Whatever gets the job done. You can round your rails using files or sandpaper, but I'm using this printed router jig I'm developing. I'm still working on the design, but the files for that should be available in the shop soon. And to clean things up, I'm sanding my board using this foam drum, followed by a random orbital sander. The veneer that I chose for the bottom of this deck has some beautiful bird's eye figure to it. To my eye, that's going to look cooler than any graphic I could come up with, so I'm just hitting it with a wash of color to make the wood grain pop. All that's left is to seal it with a couple coats of poly, get it set up, and take it for a ride. The deck rides great, the grain came out gorgeous, and the molds work pretty dang good. All in all, I'm really happy with this project, and I am stoked to get some files out to y'all so that you can print your own molds and press some decks. The STL files for printing, along with the Fusion 360 working files, are all available for free over on goodroadscollective.com, so go grab some for yourself. I will say that while these molds work, the CAD that I did is a little janky. If you want a more legitimate way of making a board in Fusion 360, check out Longboard Technologies tutorial on the subject. Or if you want a tool designed specifically for the job, check out SkateCAD from Bo at Open Source Skateboards. It's a browser-based deck design tool that also allows you to download STLs for printing. There'll be links to both of those down in the description below. That's gonna be it for this one. Huge, huge shout out to all my supporters over on Patreon for making it possible for me to develop open source projects like this and share them with you. If you got questions or comments, leave them down below. Subscribe if you haven't for more awesome DIY board sport projects. And as always, I love having you guys along for the ride. So until next time, I'll see you soon. I'm really happy with this project, and I am stoked to get some files out to y'all so that you can print your old, Jesus, that is a hard, print your own molds, print your own molds.